it's Larry Broughton with LarryBroughton.me and Ugozi.com. So listen, we've got a question from Sandy Pauly from Montreal, Quebec. And Sandy wants to know, what's the most important element of a business plan to pitch to investors? Listen, business plans are really powerful. It's a great guiding tool for your organization. It's a great way to launch your business. And as Sandy is doing here, business plans are awesome when it comes to pitching your business, trying to raise equity and to get financing for your startup uh, or to expand your business. Before I tell you the most important element of the business plan, I want to let you know there are a couple of things you want to avoid in your business plan. If you're really going to make this business plan a useful and powerful tool, then it's got to be a dynamic business plan, which means you got to build a thing so that uh, you can actually change it from time to time because market conditions and businesses change constantly. One of the things I like to say is that we aren't really growing organizations, we're growing organisms. Um, and these businesses really do change and morph uh, over time. Also, I want you to avoid building a thousand page business plan and I want you to avoid hyperbole and fluff in these things. Uh, sophisticated investors will see right through it and uh, you'll lose a lot of credibility if you just put a lot of hyperbole and nonsense uh, into these things. So what's the most important element, uh, Sandy, of a business plan? Well, truly it is the executive summary. Uh, executive summaries are basically, it's a summary of all the other sections that are in your business plan. So what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that your uh, executive summary has a powerful vision and mission statement for your organization. You also wanna have an overview of your business entity and your goals for the organization. Um, additionally, you want to make sure that uh, you include backgrounds and bios on the founders and on the key executives in the organization, as well as bios for your board of advisors. Yes, you need to have a board of advisors when you launch your business. Um, what else? Well, clearly you want to have uh, your growth highlights, your growth strategies. How are you going to get from startup to stabilization? Also, you want to make sure that you've got a summary and a description of your product and your services that you're going to be offering. Also, you want to make sure that you've got some financial projections and pro forma uh, summaries in there. Your full-blown projections, your full-blown performers will be in another section, but give the highlights in your executive summary, as well as the summary of the investor returns. How are you calculating those? How is that? How are investors going to be getting their money back? Is it through a preferred return? Are you going to be distributing um, distributions based on peri as a as a percentage of uh, of the total equity that's been raised? You got to answer that question. So finally, though, the most important part of the most important part, and so I mean the most important part of the executive summary, you got to answer this question: Why you? Why are you the one who's launching this business? Why should the investor be investing in you? Because truly, that's what they're doing. More than investing in their business, they're investing in you. But why you? Why are you the best person to be launching, running this business, and taking their money and turning it into something, potentially turning it into something that's bigger than what they're currently offering you? So, do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Leave me a comment here. Like this video, please. Share it. And if you have other questions about entrepreneurship or leadership or team building, leave me a comment here, ask it here, and, um, and we'll get to it as soon as we can. Hey, uh, do yourself a favor, do the world a favor, go do something significant today. Now go get them.